welcome back to Cook Your Plants Off. I'm Keep Your Plants On or Lindsay Tobias, and this is where the magic happens. By magic, I mean sometimes we come up with healthy, delicious meals, and sometimes we start small fires. Today we are making sweet potato stuffed two ways. Both of these are going to be four ingredients or less. Super easy, delicious, very affordable, and portable. And portable. No. No. We're going to start off by rinsing the sweet potatoes to get off any dirt, grime, or small belly button looking growths that are on the surface. Today we are preparing them in the oven at 425 degrees, but you can prepare them in the crock pot, instapot, or oven. I'm going to coat them with olive oil. If you're feeling crazy, you can add honey too. And we're going to pierce these sweet potatoes to make sure they do not explode. When it comes out, we're going to let them cool for about five minutes so we don't blow our hands off. Slice them open lengthwise and then just prop them open. Now we're going to prepare our barbecue chicken. The cook time of your sweet potatoes will vary based on the size of your sweet potatoes. So for example, I'm using small to medium sweet potatoes because if this is going to be my meal, I don't want it to end up being the size of my head. Larger sweet potatoes are going to cook for longer amounts of time and smaller sweet potatoes are going to cook for a shorter amount of time. Now we're going to prepare the barbecue chicken. So I'm just using a rotisserie chicken today. You can get organic rotisserie chicken in your local grocery store. And we're going to shred it and then go ahead and chop it into small bite-sized pieces. To add a little bit of crunch, I'm adding some red onion, and we're gonna be using some organic barbecue sauce. So if you are buying a store-bought sauce, I wanna encourage you to turn around the bottle and check the ingredients. The ingredients of the foods you're consuming will dictate how your body actually processes them. So if you can't read and understand the ingredients in the ingredient label, neither can your body, and it will cause inflammation. So if you see artificial sweeteners, artificial colors, or flavorings, just go ahead and move along. This is $3 from Walmart and it's just called Tessa Mays. Also make sure there's not a ton of added sugars, hydrogenated oil, canola oil, or thickeners like Exanthem or Guar gums. Next, we're gonna add in some avocado for some healthy fats. So to assemble this, we're going to go ahead and open that sweet potato, add your barbecue chicken, your avocado, and I like to add some cilantro as well. Next, we're moving to our sweet sweet potatoes. These are gonna have coconut oil, frozen blueberries, and almond butter. This one we can go straight into assembling. We're gonna add some coconut yogurt. I personally don't eat too much dairy because it doesn't make me feel really great, and it's a largely inflammatory food group. So we're gonna be using some coconut yogurt. Again, this is store-bought, about a dollar. Go ahead and open your sweet potato. Add your coconut yogurt right in the middle. Add some frozen blueberries, and I like to use frozen because I think it adds just a good texture. Some almond butter, and then this is where you can customize it and make it your own. I like to add some chia seeds. You can add flax seeds or hemp seeds, whatever it is you're looking for. So there you have it. We have our sweet potatoes two ways that you can package up and have for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And this is a recipe that you can customize. So if you don't want barbecue chicken, you want to add pesto or buffalo sauce or whatever it is that your heart desires, you can customize this any way that you like. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned some healthy, easy ways that you can add a little bit more nutrients into your day this week. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as I am uploading a new video every single week. If you'd like to work with me as your health coach, you can find the link in my bio. My new program is starting October 26th, designed to help you stop dieting and start nourishing your body sustainably. You can follow me on Instagram at keepyourplantson, and I cannot wait to see you next week. Have a happy, healthy week.